Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are working on Project Assembly Phase 3. Uh, we're well into it. Getting our products made. We're at this uh, coal patch. There's actually three coal patches. One, two, three. And we're going to make some steel. I got everything I need. Everything I want to make is up on the right hand side of the screen there. One miner, eight smelters, six foundries, six constructors, 12 constructors for the steel pipes. That's all I need. Oh, look at that. Mam research. Done. Coated iron plate, iron alloy ingot, stitched iron plate. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know if it's better than... A standard recipe. It looks better. I'll take that. Okay, first thing I want to do... We're gonna make... Foundations. Alright, I'm going to raise the whole thing off the ground like this, just so uh, we don't run into any obstacles or anything like that. Let's set it to zoop. Alright, don't want that poking through. Alright, let's start with the smelters. Eight smelters. Let's see how much room eight smelters takes up. Let's start right here. We'll lock the hologram. Yeah, for some reason the smelter doesn't quite line up with the edge there. That's alright. That's five. Yeah, it looks like most of this is going to be over the lake here. That's 
that was a little off. There we go, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, but really, it's going to be uh, triple that. Because the eight is just for one, one ore patch, but there's three ore patches. So we're not going to do it right now. But, um, there's enough ore here for three times this. Alright, how much, uh, how much ore is this going to be? 30 times 8? 240, okay. Yeah, it's right there on the on the right, 240 ore. All right. We'll use a splitter. Now, I want to get this kind of in the middle of the foundation here. There we go. How fast are the belts? Um, conveyor belt 3 is 270. That's all we need. Actually, um, one thing I could do Yeah, instead of sp expanding out that way I could add more spel uh, smelters Coming out this way Like another row of eight here and then eight over here Because uh, I want the other Boundaries and constructors to be on the next floor So if I put all these in one row then the building is gonna be just super long and short Can I get rid of these trees? I'm not gonna have the Inventory to Yeah, I don't think it's gonna chop them unless I can Unless I have inventory space Well, there's a white outline, so yeah, I can... I think I can chop all those. So if I go out that far... Yeah, it still... Clears the hill there. Okay, that's good. Not gonna do that now, but that's good to know. Um, in that case... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we'll use a merger.
Hats off. Hats off. It's all off. Use the Mark 1 belt for the output. It'd be great if I can turn all, all of this on this episode, but I just won't think that'll happen. Okay, so my idea is... We're gonna have walls here. Let's just try... See what this looks like. Wall. We have a wall with a conveyor wall. There we go. I don't know what's the inside and outside. They look, uh, the same. No, the patterns are opposite. Okay. So, do these belts snap to the wall? Yes, they do. Uh, crap. It doesn't look pretty. It's gotta look pretty. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta remake this. Alright, I'm back. I fixed it up, got the spacing a little bit better. Got to reconnect these here. Wait a minute, that's too many. Whoops. Don't need that. Don't need that. Alright, so we're gonna go... Is that high enough? Yeah, there's no... It's not yellow, so there's no clipping here. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Okay, one meter foundation. Uh, zoop.
I need six foundries. And that's all going to start right about there. Might need to go forward a bit more. This is going to be for, let's see. So we're going to have the ingots coming up. And around here. I suppose I could yeah I can bring the coal from this side as well can I does that work no that does not work I have the might look a little weird if I have the conveyor belts running on top of these splitters let me try it yeah so if I, if I have the coal running on top and the iron on bottom that looks it clips a little bit, but it's not too bad. I could also try... a bit higher. Let's see, is that going to work? What if I tried, um... Tried that. Will that, uh, will that connect? Let's see. Yeah. I guess that looks better. No clipping. Okay, I don't have a lot of room here, so I'm going to bring this out. One more. Alright, so we want six of these. I think this will work.
All right, each um, each level has to be the same width, same height. All right, let's see if we can bring this up. Where is that? It's right here. All right. We want a Mark III belt. There we go. And we're going to bring that around in a nice, tidy fashion. With a nice, beautiful right angles. Okay, I think that's going to work. Uh, let me just pause here for a moment and uh, build the rest of this sort of off camera. Because it's a little bit tedious. Okay, I got this set up. I got some... I got these walls here. We've got three... It's kind of perfect because we got three holes for three conveyor belts. One for each coal... Uh, coal... Node. One coming through here. The next one will go further and uh, go into the next set of foundries and so on. Uh, but this should be right. So we got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I set them all up with the alternate recipe, solid steel ingot. So we got iron ingots coming in, coal coming in. And then we take it out through here. Is that right? No. Oh, that's not right. This is where the uh, blueprint tool will uh, come in handy. It's kind of too late for that, though. Oh, wow, that's not... That's not even right. It's got to go one more over. Right there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, some of this, um, not the whole thing, but some of it could have been designed with the blueprint designer. next level. And the next level we want C. 
six constructors, and then one level after that. Uh, for 90 steel beams. Hmm. So this is where, where we're making the 360 steel ingots. I'm gonna have to split this into two. This will be a little bit awkward. Okay, I think that's the best thing to do. I don't want to overlap this foundation at all. These foundations here. awkward but it works and these are mark threes yes okay well hold on a minute let's um let's get rid of all of this replace that with the one meter foundations Is that it? Just that one? Okay. Uh, let's go to... Vertical. Is that high enough? Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good clearance there. I might want to put ceiling lights or something. Okay, yeah, actually, let's um put those back. One meter... How far are we going? One more? Okay. Alright, 
think we're good. So we're going to need a wall right here for the incoming conveyor belt. And we want conveyor lifts. We can make them both Mark III. They don't need to be, but... That one? Yeah, that one's Mark III. Okay. Ooh, nice and dark in here. I've got the new uh, Lumen effects turned on, so the lighting is uh, pretty sweet. It doesn't... I've got it on medium setting, so it doesn't really affect performance at all. Uh, not for me. Alright, so we've got... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to... I don't need that. Okay, we're just going to have one come up. Because these are the steel ingots for the... Beams. And I'm going to have the constructors for the steel pipes on a whole nother level above. So this is just beams. Now let me have a look. Okay, I'm starting my foundries and my smelters. Three tiles in, one tile over. I want to kind of do the same thing here. I need constructors. Let's see. Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, while we're doing this, let's um, go ahead and build the MAM. I think we're done researching another recipe. Crystal computer. That looks very simple. I like that. Electrode circuit board. Ah, petroleum. Petroleum coke. So a purely petroleum-based circuit board. That's interesting. I'll take that. All right, we pretty much do the same thing here. Get those splitters down. And this is steel beams. Beautiful. Oh. 
Oh oh. Uh oh, my hotkeys aren't working. Uh oh. Oh well. Do it this way. this close to the edge here. It's got to be just right. Uh, I want... It's got to come out to the middle. Okay, go to the middle and then back. Oh, this is fine. Okay. Line it up, and then back two, and then go in. Sixty per minute. That's going to use up all of the ingots. Man, these steel beams eat up. A lot of ingots. All right, and then uh, let's copy that. Choose a wall for output. line up right there. That's not... That's not right. Okay. Conveniently, I think the constructors are one foundation wide. Okay, that's all done. Now this is going to go out to a container or train station. I guess down there would be a good place for a train station where it can be loaded. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, imagine it with walls and everything encasing it. So it's going to be a little bit longer, I think. I got to fit the pipes, and then the pipes got to come out somewhere. Pipes got to come out here, so it'll be one more foundation. And then if I want to add more 
I mean, it seems like a waste of space. Hmm, I could probably compact it a little bit. But I don't really care about using up space. I mean, I've got plenty of space. So, yeah, if I've got a lot of wasted space down here, that's fine. I just want to make sure I design it in such a way that I'm not going to find out I am I have no room somewhere or it gets cramped or whatever. So I'm trying to make it modular. So I basically just copy this entire thing and then paste it again over here. Pretty much. Not exactly, but... Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to finish this up uh, off camera. I'll get the next layer. It's pretty much the same thing. Just with um, steel pipes. I don't know if I'll get walls and all of that stuff. Maybe it won't look too pretty. I can paint the foundations too. Make it look neat. Uh, but I'm hoping next time I can actually get it running. Because um, after I get the next layer done, there's not much left to do except wire it up. Get a miner here, get a miner down there for the iron. Bring it up here and that's it. Alright, well, thank you for joining me. For watching this whole process. Hopefully it'll look impressive at some point. We're almost there.